Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel, but this is our Adventures with Noelle series where I am opening up six different advent calendars with you day by day. And yes, I have lost my voice during the uh, holiday festivities, but I'm still going strong. We are still gonna open up day 15 and it is one of the ones that has really kind of stood out for me and for a lot of you according to the comments. It is of course the Liberty London advent calendar, which is very heavy, very big, but so detailed with the artwork. I think it is beautiful. I kind of showcased it last time. It was the featured box for the day. I love the staircase on the side. I love all of the details in the back. And it is, of course, sort of modeled after their flagship store, which is in London. And we've also decided that we really like the uh, UK advent calendars because they really know what it's all about, about having some delight, so much so that this particular calendar not only has a crazy value, you know, sometimes we get those smaller sample sizes and that's what's giving the calendar its value because it's just an itty bitty bit of something that's really, really expensive. But this calendar does have 29 gifts. There are gifts for day 25, which in my book, that's all bonus points right there. And 20 of those 29 are full size items. Now, sometimes that's a lip balm. Sometimes that's something kind of small, but I just think that's really nice. In a world of sample sizes, everyone, be full size, and that is what I am all about. I love like the little owl at the top. Do you see the little bird that's got a package in its beak? Isn't that cool? Now how they did these peaked roofs in the front too. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, there's so many like bunnies and squirrels and little woodland creatures that are all populating this store on the back. It's just really a beautiful um, piece to have out, I think like under your Christmas tree where you get to go every morning. And I know it's a little bit late in the season, but if you can still pick this up or get it and save it for next year, by all means, I do think it is a good value. It was a pricey box, not the priciest box that I'm opening here on the channel in this series, but pricey. It was $320. They did have free shipping. The tax for me in California was almost $25. So basically I paid a total of $344.80. I do include that tax and if there is shipping in my total because then I can tell you that the average cost per gift there were 29 gifts, right? It's not dividing by 24 or 25, but 29 was $11.88. So I think that we have definitely gotten our money's worth. They do say that the total value is what did they say? They said the total value is like 1,043 pounds, which is like $1,300, right? So that's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, and there is a golden ticket inside and it says there'll be five winners that will get 1,000 pounds to spend at Liberty. I'm like, can I do it in person and get a plane ticket and go? Like, I think that would be so much fun. So this illustrated box is designed in collaboration with artist Klim Everden. Everenden, and I just think it is so so stunning just so many details I wish I had a reason to hold on to it after um, I just noticed there's a horse and like a reindeer and foxes oh my gosh there's so many beautiful things you guys maybe I'll take some pictures for you over on Instagram my Instagram has been acting up not my personal account just the one that I use for this YouTube channel. So it has just been like a crazy, crazy season. This is kind of my Vlogmas where I actually post an extra video for you every day because in addition to these Adventures with Noelle unboxings, I also have my regular unboxings in the afternoon. So hopefully, especially if you're new to the channel, you become a subscriber and you join me for those as well. So I had started to read some of the history, the abridged version that I got from their website in my last time that we featured this box uh, in this series. And I wanted to finish that up. So we talked about how Arthur um, Lassenby Liberty had actually started the store back in 1875. He got a 2,000 pound uh, loan from his father-in-law and it would just become such a beautiful sort of almost like import store like style maker uh, that it, they even called um, the Art Nouveau period in Italy, the Liberty style. And he did manage to repay that loan to his father-in-law within 18 months. So let me just finish up that little story. It says, a realization of Arthur's original vision, our magnificent Great Marlborough Street Shop followed in 1924. The 1920s was a time of Tudor revival, considered the most crafted and English of architecture. So the shop was engineered around three atriums. So that was probably those three peaked roofs in the front. 
Designed to feel like a home, each atrium was surrounded by smaller rooms complete with fireplaces and furnishings. Sadly, Arthur died seven years before the building's completion and so never saw his dream realized. But his statue stands proudly at our flower shop entrance to welcome you warmly into his emporium of wonder. So I love this idea of it being an emporium of wonder. This not just a, a department store, but really just like a big house that you got to go in and each room was kind of curated and had a fireplace and it just sounds amazing, right? And I like London shopping for the holidays, like between the Christmas markets and the way the stores are all decked out, man, this, it must be amazing. So it says, Liberty is famed for its directional design, cultural collaborations and inspiring curation. Our dedicated in-house design studio is still at the core of all that we do, hand painting and creating our beautiful beautiful prints, reworking finds from the 45,000 strong archive. Wow, that's awesome. So I've like learned so much about Liberty London and now I absolutely love it and I think they did such a great job in terms of having some of their own products but also some really well-known brands, brands that I'm not familiar with but again, it's just been really awesome. So let's open it up. By the way, I have to show you how it looks when you open it up. It is a magnetic closure. I'll try to hold it far enough away. You guys don't have to see me, but I have to see the camera. So that's what it looks like with these nice paisley doors and drawers. And you can see those two big boxes in the middle are for day one and day 25. So I'm kind of hoping for a double day on day 25. We've had two double days so far. And the way I figure, right, if there's 29, there's probably four double days, right? All right, let's see. Or 25 is the one in the center that's really big. It's the white company that has a big one and 25. They also had a day 25. So we are looking for day 15. It's up here in the right hand corner. So it's one of one of the bigger boxes, which is kind of fun. So let's see what we've got here. I'm going to try to keep this closed so it doesn't get in my way. All right, this is Ren Clean Skin Care. So this looks like a full size pot of something. And then they did do a really nice online sort of uh, key where it kind of flips the doors. It's really cool. Um, I've been looking at it on my uh, laptop but you can also do it on your phone so like that's day number five let's see if I can pull up day number 15 and then when you click on it I don't know if you guys will be able to see it but when you click on it it flips around and tells you a little bit about everything which I think is really really cool so um, let's go ahead and see what it is this is their overnight glow dark spot sleeping cream it is uh, 50 milliliters, which I think that's probably full size. Let me go ahead and slide it out. Let's see. I might have to slice it or maybe I can sneak in from the bottom. Sometimes I like to do that. Let's see if we can get it. So this 50 milliliters has a value of $71. That's pretty good. That's how they get that super high um, total retail value. $71 Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream from Ren Clean Skin Care is a targeted moisturizer that visibly reduces dark spots and hyperpigmentation while you sleep. So this is what the little pot looks like. Maybe I can get that to focus. It says, the rich hydrating cream employs a multitude of powerhouse ingredients, including an encapsulated algae complex alongside a host of radiance boosting botanicals and phytoglycogen. So you wake up to a plumper, more radiant and even toned complexion. That's the only place that you wanna be plumper in the morning, right? You don't wanna to go to sleep and be plumper anywhere else. It says, how to use before sleep, apply a hazelnut sized amount. I have never heard it called a hazelnut size. It's always like pea or a quarter. Hazelnut, which is a little bit bigger than a pea. All right, a hazelnut sized amount by massaging in circular motions over the face and neck until fully absorbed. All right, I like a night cream. I've been trying to, I've been feeling the signs of aging coming on. Ooh, ooh, it's very creamy. Let's see if it has a scent. Ooh, it kind of smells fruity to me. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to have a scent, but it smells like very fresh. It says clean to skin, clean to planet. All right. Well, I'm going to look that up a little bit more, but I, I do think it kind of has like a weirdly fruity scent, but you know, things could be off. I have so many scents going on in my house right now. All right. I'm into that. That was a great day for our Liberty London calendar. Let's move on to my French country home. We got kind of a big item today. Always kind of fun. Doesn't mean, you know, size... Size does matter when it comes to sample sizes or travel sizes versus, you know, a full size item. Thank you, Liberty London. But uh, in terms of these packages, and again, this is a lifestyle box, so you never know. Like sometimes good things come in really small packages because then it's jewelry. Let's see what we got here. 
Oh goodness. I don't know where my cheat sheet is for my French country home. Oh, this is cute. So we actually just got one of these. I think we just got one of these um, in the last box. Or, no, that wouldn't go with the like soiree theme. This is pretty though. So this is very like French, right? These uh, tote, uh, market totes, these net ones. I love this foresty green color. And I actually have a friend who like green is her favorite color and she'll actually probably really love this. She's like a little crunchy granola and absolutely would use her farmer's market bags. This is cute. It's from a company called Filt. Uh, fabrique en France, so it is legit. I like that. So, um, and these are just great because they're so small. They're really easy to just tuck into your purse, and then when you do go shopping or go to the beach or need something, then you can just uh, use this. And the straps are long enough and also very comfortable, but long enough to go over your shoulders. So that's a nice item. I don't know if it's worth the twenty-ish dollars, twenty-three dollars per item in this box. I definitely don't think it's worth the forty dollars when it comes to the like average value of items but it is a nice item. I just personally have so many of those market totes, so it'll make a great gift item for me. Moving on to papier, we have day number 15. I can't believe we're like down to like the last 10 days in, well, starting tomorrow, but some of these boxes don't have a day 25, so for some of them, we are already in the last 10. Let's see if I can slice this open. Oh, it's like they actually put a sticker on it. Usually they don't have a sticker. It's just those Gosh darn difficult to open tabs that I love so much. Honestly, I like the stickers better. Ah, this is what we've been waiting for. So this was a little bit of a spoiler. Uh, oh, it kind of goes with my with my bag. It is a beautiful pen. So a few days ago, early on, it's really pretty with this like kind of darker uh, sage and lighter sage, like almost like a celadon, and then the matte gold accents. This, I'm guessing, is our fountain pen. So let me see if I can unscrew it. Oh goodness, open up. I, I was trying to, there we go. Here, this is beautiful. So we did get some ink refills for our fountain pen. Um, some of you were like, why would they do the refills first? I'm like, well, it was a spoiler. I think I would definitely be um, bummed if I got the refills after the pen because that's definitely kind of a letdown item. It's not a very big, exciting item, but this is a beautiful pen. Now, if I could say something, I'd say, hey, why didn't you give us the pen and the refills as one gift instead of multiple? But we did get two of them. It is, uh, again, a Papier branded. It's very faint on that uh, little hook there. It does say Papier right there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but it does say that. But very subtle branding. I don't mind that at all. It has a nice weight to it. I do like a fountain pen when I'm making my lists and checking them twice. So I think fountain pens are one of those like OG analog things that's kind of coming back or maybe you never stopped using them. They can be a little bit messy, but they are beautiful and I just love the way they feel when you're writing. All right, moving on to the white company. We have a nice 15 right here and it looks like, hey you guys, we got two items in here. So I gotta like turn to my page, my little cheat sheet that I have that tells me, I don't think I was anticipating any uh, double days from the white company, which does do all in-house brands. So let's look at the first one. The first one is a home spray, a mini one in the scent winter. And we actually started off this calendar with their winter signature can candle, which I loved that scent. So I'm super happy to have a room spray in this scent as well. Let me just give it a little spritz. Yes, that is nice. Ooh, a little bit of orange in there. I did get a little bit of it right up my nose, but hey, now I'm really awake, you guys. <laughs> All right, so that's nice. And then again, this is a double day, unexpected double day. This is cool from, let's see, where's my winter spray? Let's see. Yes. And we got this little Hmm, I think this is supposed to be on a different day. I'm gonna have to like double check. We got this little ornament, which again, it's a little late to be getting an ornament, but it doesn't have branding all over it, so I'm kinda okay with it. It's a little star, but there's some weight to this star, so I think you can open it up. Let's see what this is. This is, ooh, there's stuff in here. I think these are like little, was this? Oh, they're like little cedar balls that might, I don't, oh, maybe you can put the spray onto the cedar balls and then it can be like a little air freshener. You could put that in your car or like a sachet in a drawer. That's cute. Or just any essential oils. That's actually really cute. They don't, no, they don't have a scent on them already. So I do see, this is interesting because they have a list, but it's almost like 
more alphabetical. It's not even alphabetical. It's definitely not the order in which you open the days. Now I can't get the bag back in there. It's a really cute little ornament though. So you could just uh, put that away or like give a little gift in there. That's really cute. So it does say that on one day we got a winter star pomander. Oh, I guess it's called a pomander. So it's a winter star pomander. Okay. I didn't realize that that's what those were called. I think I just have to put the star in the correct place because the they're not all exactly the same size. Maybe that's it. I'll figure it out eventually. So it's a winter star pomander. I was like, I didn't see anything about an ornament because it's probably not called an ornament. Well, it's called a pomander. Uh, I can't figure out which way it goes. They're like all a little bit different. So I'm gonna have to play around with that for a while until it decides to wanna go back in. Oh, this is no fun. Um, and we got the little mini home spray and that was a uh, 0.5 fluid ounces. I'll figure it out eventually, you guys, I promise. I, I'm determined, it'll happen, but that's a cute little ornament. An ornament I don't mind, and it also came with the spray to give it a nice scent, but you could use whatever one you want. All right, moving on to Fresh, here we go. Here's Fresh. There's our little box with all the Fs. Freaking Fresh, all right. So let's see, oh, oh, it's a little itty bitty guy. It's real festive though with the red box and the green um, bottle. So it's an itty bitty, it is, oh, okay. It's not the rose line for a change, it's the tea line. It's a tea elixir. It says skin resilience activating serum and it is a whole point one six fluid ounces. I wanna say it says two milliliters. Hold on a second, you guys, let me, let me see. Hold on, two milliliters, like really? Is that what that says? Let me uh, zoom in on my photo. That's how I use a magnifying glass. Oh, five milliliters. I'm so sorry. It's five whole milliliters. Yeah. Um, 0.16 fluid ounces. All right. Directions apply to the face and neck daily. And then I guess you can look up all the good stuff. It's a real cute bottle. It's adorable. It's very, very cute. I don't know though. Like, because what do we figure out with the pricing on the Fresh calendar? It's like every gift, it's not a gift because I paid for it. Every item on average, I paid $14.58 for. I paid $14.58 for this little itty bitty sample that you can get for free if you just buy something else on the Fresh site. Eh, eh. All right, well, it's probably not going to get better, you guys, because the last calendar we have to open today is Lady M, and we already know that their value is just amazing. So today, our little bomb, oh, we only got four today, you guys. We got four little balls. I mean, they're bigger than the corn that we had yesterday. Four, four little balls of delight from Lady M. Let me get my uh, card out here. And then we'll finish, and then I'll have a drink after. Uh, oh, this is a day I've been excited about. So I think we already had the Speculus Crunch, so I think these are the chocolate pretzel bites. Now, the chocolate pretzel bites, it... Oh no, they're also milk chocolate, okay. Chocolate pretzel bites, lightly salted crispy pretzel bites dipped in a classic milk chocolate outer shell. But we did have the speculus, which um, was also supposed to be sweet and crispy, and they were crispy. I just didn't think they tasted a lot like speculus, they tasted more like cereal. Um, so here we go, I'll try to bite it in half, but I can't guarantee. Hmm. Oh look, you can see the pretzel. I just like kind of skin the top of it. All right, so that's a pretzel bite. Let me finish it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Those are good. Those are really good. Like, if I got this sample at a store in one of those little uh, pieces of paper, I'd be like, oh. Like, if this was like, a Trader Joe's sample, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to go buy that, that whole bag. I don't know if you can actually buy the Lady M bonbons. I'm assuming you probably can in their actual physical stores, but... I mean, I knew I was going to like chocolate covered pretzel bites. Did I need to pay a dollar each for them? No. Mm hmm. Because that's what I paid. Because there's four of them and they're on average $4 per day. Yep. That was a dollar that I just ate. Didn't taste like it. Um, I still can't put the pomander together. I don't know why. Oh, oh, I think I might have gotten it. It just, I think I might just have to like wedge it in there. Ha <laughs> ha! but now I have to put those little cedar balls back in. But I got it. All right, so that actually, to me, was like a fun thing because we got two things. 
as a little surprise. I also am super into the uh, full size overnight glow dark spot sleeping cream. We like that. Get rid of the dark spots. This is a good item for sure. Fountain pen, lovely. Wish it had included the refills on that day. Good treat from Lady M. Just a little pricey, but we've already established that's going to be the case every day with them. But it was a good treat. It wasn't like a kind of weird one like the corn. Uh, I'm going to say the stinker today was this little itty bitty sample from Fresh. It might be amazing, but just when you're comparing it to the other awesome calendars today, that's that's the lowest on the totem pole for me. But overall, a pretty good day. We got some nice lifestyle items. We got a, a good pen. A pretzel got me choked up. But I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. If you have, please do leave a comment. Please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing later today at 2 or for more of the adventures with Noelle tomorrow morning.